Hello everyone, welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. Pixel Riffs here, and if I sound a little bit apprehensive, that's because I am. Over the last week or so, I've seen my server mates kicked out of their bases, banned from the server. I just don't know how we're going to get through this at all. Um, the senators are scared. They are very, very frightened uh, about the Captain Hops situation, so they have commissioned me to build a wall around the Democratic Republic of Mushroom in order to shore up our defences against the invading rabbit army. So the first thing I've decided to do is get as many mushroom blocks as I possibly can. And using Jeff's mushroom chopper, I'm going to assemble the foundation of a wall uh, using the foundation of this very nation itself, mushroom blocks. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is gather a bunch of these so I won't show you guys the entire process of that because this would take an age, but I will gather a few of these and I'll come back to you when we're ready to build the wall. Okay, here we are. Several mushrooms, a lot of bone meal and a few cups of tea later. We have the foundations of our wall and some blocks that we can fortify it with because as we know mushroom blocks are not the most blast resistant and if these rabbits are the kind of rabbits I think they are then they are not going to think twice about blowing a hole in the wall somehow um, especially if they've got a hold of Biran's reserves of TNT from his base there's absolutely no telling what could happen so I think the best thing to do is to start the wall over here uh, gonna fortify this part of the chunk border a little bit if I can get out of the water here so they can't make an entrance around the back here but we need to start the wall off over here aligned with the back of the mushroom senate i think that's probably the best thing to do start it about here <laughs> we can have some of this foliage hanging over the wall that's fine that shouldn't be too much of a problem and yeah i think we're going to have to cut out the record farm i don't think dv records is our priority right now so let's fill a bunch of this in and then we can start on the foundation I'm planning to use as much mycelium as I can for the foundation of the wall, but we will have to intersperse this with dirt because I do not have enough mycelium and silk touching it right now would be pretty time consuming and we do not have the time. This is a pretty urgent endeavour we have here, so um, I'll put a few blocks of mycelium here and there so hopefully not too much grass grows. So the mushroom needs to be on mycelium as its foundation for it to be the most effective defence. And I think what we're going to have to do is have a too tall strip of mushroom blocks right here as the core of the wall. And I don't think any rabbits will be able to leap over this height, but we're going to add another row of blocks on top just to be safe and to safeguard the mushroom against anything that comes our way. Okay, we've got a decent stretch of wall here. Now I think it's time to start shoring it up with some of this stone if it will let me place the block okay i think this is going to have to be our pattern we're going to need strips of stone along here like so as reinforcement i think probably one every couple of blocks like this because it's going to need to be a pretty sturdy wall uh, i'm going to need to go to sleep in a second just to make sure we don't get surprise during the night because I don't want this wall to take any more punishment than it needs to. I'm most worried about the rabbits. I think mobs and so forth, we can handle ourselves at this point, but those rabbits are vicious. Um, I have no idea what they're capable of and from what I've heard, people have encountered Captain Hops on random areas of the server. He seems to be popping up all over the place like he can be in multiple places at once and I don't know how that could possibly be the case, but it makes me very, very worried that he'll just turn up here. Um, so I think it's probably best that we build this as soon as possible. Now, I'm going to need to add an extra dirt platform over here just so we don't end up falling into this lake too much whilst we're building here. But right, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the pattern. It's going to be nice and defensible from here. I'm going to be able to run up, take a quick look over the wall, and these supports should hopefully maintain the integrity of it the whole way along and then yeah this is going to be a problem i see uh right next thing we need to do is establish a bit of wood in there mainly for a little bit of extra texture but also because wood is 
actually pretty strong. Like it's very flexible, it can withstand a bit of damage, um, but these cobblestone walls are going to act as supports and it's actually looking a lot like the wall of the mushroom senate which makes me happy because i'm fairly certain that's quite a sturdy building uh, now the last thing i wanted to add in here was some slabs across the bottom just to make sure that this section is a bit more reinforced so what we can do is we'll pop down some of this as a crafting table because i'll need one of those over here in any case uh let's make some cobblestone slabs like so great that'll be plenty and we can pop those in here like so great okay so this is looking pretty sturdy right now like i said we're going to add an extra row of blocks along the top and that's what i've got the polished andesite in there for because that looks like quite a stable building material but for now i think this is looking pretty good so i'm going to continue this pattern along <laughs> won't build the whole thing on camera but I'll be back to you when we've made a little bit more progress. And I think we're going to need some connecting towers along here just so we can alter the shape a little bit. So uh, I'll see if I can design something for those off camera so I'm not tinkering too much, but this will be the defense of the Democratic Republic of Mushroom. So we have to do it right. The boundary is complete. This thing is enormous and will hopefully be impenetrable once I've finished fortifying the area. I need to work out how to cope with the changes in elevation. That will come with a little bit of trial and error. It's going to be disappointing to shut out these woods. <laughs> the view from here has always been very, very nice, and I look forward to the day when this whole Captain Hops thing blows over and we can take down this wall again and look out on these green fields but that looks like it may not happen for a little while so for now we have to press on right our fortifications are more or less complete uh, I still need to work out what to do with some of the curved sections but I'm thinking cobblestone slabs would probably be best to reinforce those uh, circular constructed stuff tends to be fairly strong anyway uh, from what I've heard, but I think what we need to do here is layer it up with slabs like that, because yeah, that will provide adequate bracing from the outside in case Hops has any kind of, I guess, siege weapon. It's a little bit of a worrying thought, but if he does, then hopefully that should help brace these corners against anything else. And we just got to put in the finishing touches, and then I have to go out and do the whole pattern again on the other side because this wall is not going to be any good as a fortification if it's just mushroom blocks and wood on the other side so yeah looks like that will be an additional task to do off camera but for now I think that looks pretty sturdy to be honest I would not want to try and break down this wall so hopefully Captain Hops or Emperor Hops as he seems to be calling himself these days will not want to try to either so I'm going to go and finish off the rest of this wall and then I think it is probably time to inform the senators that the job has been done. Okay, just adding the andesite layer on top and I think we're more or less good. Still gotta add the cobblestone walls around the outside but we should be pretty set after that. What the heck was that? It sounded like it came from over by spawn. Eesh no idea what that is that makes me very very nervous <sighs> ladies and gentlemen of the senate i would ask that you remain calm and listen the wall is now complete and i believe it will hold against the forces of emperor hops until he can be stopped I believe the Democratic Republic of Mushroom is safe, and that is why I have decided to leave. Inside these walls, you will be safe to govern this proud nation. Even should Hops breach the wall, I suspect he will not be a threat to you. His quarrel is with humans, and humans alone. I intend to depart for spawn immediately, to stand with my server mates against a tyrant who has threatened their homes, and their lives. I leave the Democratic Republic of Mushroom 
in your hands. This has been my home for a long time and I care deeply about each and every one of you, our villager citizens and the chickens who have contributed to the founding of this nation. I shall miss you all a great deal, but my server mates have become my close friends, close enough even to call us family, and I must offer them my help in this dark hour. Together, I believe we can weather the storm and turn back the tide of Captain Hobbs' forces. So, for now, I leave this, the Democratic Republic of Mushroom, to you, and long may it continue. Thank you for your time. I'm going to be needing this.